thought the cancer clinic was depressing. <laughs> Marjorie, how many cats do you own? Oh, you don't own cats. You love them. <laughs> okay. How many cats do you love? Well, let's see. That's Carlos Santana, and that's Grace Slick, and that's Boz Skaggs and Steve Miller, and these three are the Tower of Power horn section. <laughs> This fat little troublemaker is Jerry Garcia. <laughs> so, eight. Oh, Marjorie, when did you lose your way? <laughs> I need to make him lunch. No, 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 you rest. We'll take care of it. Oh, where do you keep the cat food? I don't feed them cat food. Of course not. What do you feed them? Well, there's the freshwater trout in the fridge. You put that in the blender, pulse until creamy, and then add rice and veggies. Don't look at me. I'm not making a sushi smoothie. <laughs> Sorry, I have to feed the kitties. That's the smell of loneliness. <laughs> Marjorie, I, uh, can't thank you enough for taking us in. Oh, of course, sweetie. It's nice to have the company. Love my cats, but they don't ask me how my day was. Neither will I. <laughs> I don't know. It's complicated. Where are the cats? I put them in the bedroom. I don't like them to see this side of me. <laughs> I'm not crazy about seeing it either. Forget the TV commercials. When you love your cats, you don't feed them out of a can or a box. Everything I eat out of a can or a box. No, not while you're living with your Aunt Marjorie. Hit it. Hey, we're back. Roscoe, I brought you some chicken nuggets. Box. I'll make you a bowl of spaghetti later. Thanks. How was the meeting? Oh, terrific. And good news. We found a place to live. Oh, really? Not just a place, a four-bedroom furnished house out in Browns Valley. Oh, wow. How can you afford that? We got an incredible deal because a family was Did you ever think it would come to this? Sleeping on a fold-out couch with a face full of cat ass? No. <laughs> we gotta get our own place. We can't stay with Marjorie forever. You sure? We're probably gonna outlive her. <laughs> oh, are you allergic to cats? A little. Since when? Since birth, Mom. <laughs> Did you sleep okay? Yes. Good as I could with my cat allergies. Oh, poor dear. Yeah. My nose is stuffy, my throat's scratchy, and my eyes are all puffy. Oh. I'll pick you up some Benadryl on my way home from the chemo. <laughs> Kitties, come get your breakfast. That's odd. They're usually starving in the morning. <laughs> you didn't feed them anything last night, did you? We did not. Thanks for listening. Mm -hmm. Where are the cats? <laughs> they died. <laughs> Holy Moses, how many cats do you own? Four. Hey, you know what cat stands for, right? Crazy, annoying twit. With all these cats, you're wise not to have nice furniture.
Hey, Christy, look, I'm Dolores. One of the neighbors came over and accused her of stealing her cat's tranquilizers. Cats have tranquilizers? Oh, yeah. Wash them down with a dry Chardonnay. Meow. Meow. So, listen. I was thinking that we could call a couple of the girls from the meeting and have them take turns helping you out. You know, shopping, driving you to treatment, blending fish. I don't want anyone else to know. Why not? Okay. Because I don't want anyone feeling sorry for me because I'm sick. Oh, Marjorie, no one's gonna feel sorry for you because you're sick. Yeah, they'll be sorry for you because you're a crazy old cat lady. <laughs> gotten kidnapped. You could have been hit by a truck. You could have been eaten by coyotes. Christy, coyote is the C word around here. <laughs> sorry. Oh, oh, yes, he's scoot. Because you're my closest friends. Oh, that's even sadder. Well, what about your son? Does he know? I haven't talked to him in a long time. Maybe we could call him and... No, leave him alone. But I just think that I they... said no. He has his life. I have mine. All right, fine. Uh, I gotta get to work. Uh, I don't wanna look. Like death warmed over. <laughs> no offense. Well, I will leave you with the capable hands of my. I'll just leave you. <laughs> you just need to know that your mom is not like you remember. She's a warm and loving woman who has helped a lot of people, including me and a bunch of cats, which you two seem to have in common. Great. Bye. They weren't drugs. They were cat tranquilizers. How is that not drugs? I had to take like seven to get a buzz. That's because you don't weigh eight pounds. We're getting off the point. I'm guessing you didn't make the amends to her that we discussed. Well, that'd be a good guess, Marjorie. Like when you hold a piece of yarn over a cat's head and you get them spinning around and they fall over. First of all, you're never coming near my cats again. That's a lot of Old Spice. Helps me not smell the cats. Not I don't love the cats. Did you tell her? Not yet. Tell me what? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! <gasps> Let me see it again. Victor buried it in the kitty litter box so I'd find it when I scooped. What can I say? I liked it, so I put a ring on it. Victor cried when my calico Janis Joplin died. We made love with the lights on that night. Have you named one after Steve Miller yet? Look at him. He's a joker, he's a smoker, he's a midnight choker. He is adorable, but I'm pretty well established as a cat person. Exactly. Eight cats and you're the crazy cat lady. Eight cats and one dog, you just love animals. <laughs> Who rescued who, am I right? <laughs> Did you ask Wendy? She seems lonely. Yeah, I already tried her. She lives with four other nurses. It's like a sitcom over there. <laughs> you weren't at the meeting, you weren't at the bistro, you didn't answer your phone. I just wanted to make sure your cats weren't feasting on your carcass. <laughs> Good to see you, too. I thought about bringing you something to eat, but... I'm already way out of my comfort zone just checking on you. <laughs> Victor and I already ate, but thanks. You want some tea? 
As long as I don't have to lick it out of a saucer. You don't want to live with her. She's the crazy cat lady.